Fred, can the bank sue me or place a judgment against me for the difference between what I owe and what the home sells for? You know what, it's very important that you consult with a professional on this particular topic, specifically a real estate attorney. And uh, take note to the fact that I said real estate attorney, not every attorney is qualified to answer this question. Um, some general information on the topic is that Arizona is generally considered a non-deficiency state. Um, below this uh, website here, this video, you're going to find a link on our website to the Arizona Revised Statutes, which is the laws that govern foreclosure law in Arizona. Highly encourage you to read through some of that and do your best to understand it. But again, make sure you get a professional opinion on this particular topic. Um, we also, below this video, have a link to an article written by the Combs Law Group, one of the leading real estate attorneys here in the state of Arizona. Highly encourage you to read that article as well. It's a little bit lengthy, but it certainly does a great job of summarizing um, what's going on on this topic currently in our state. Um, lastly, it's important to know that if you ask this question to a lot of so-called short sale experts out in the market, um, you're not going to always get the truth from them, okay? Um, understand that if you have a home equity line of credit on your home, it's very likely that you may have a potential deficiency or a potential responsibility to pay back the difference between what the bank receives at short sale versus what you owe them on the property. And the same holds true for foreclosures as well.